And could you just, in a few words, summarise or a few sentences, summarise your presentation for us? Yes, I was um, asked to present our um, how we established the Human Milk Bank in Munich and all the obstacles that had to be overcome in 2011 because when we started to think about um, establishment of a Human Milk Bank in Munich, nobody knew in, in the Bavarian region what is um, breast milk. Is it a nutrient or is it a medical product or whatever is it? And none of the um, the government, uh, nor the ministry, nor whatever, knew who was responsible um, to deal with the um, question of establishment of human milk bank. So we had um, to work a lot and ask a lot, and in the end the uh, government decided that human milk is a nutrient and we were allowed to um, establish the human uh, milk bank under very um, strict hygienic um, guidelines because we um, opt to use raw human milk which is um, frozen, shock frozen after the donation and we decided not to pasteurize the milk and that's unique in Munich, uh, it's unique in Germany. Um, it is um, a common practice in Sweden and Norway and also Japan but in uh, Germany it was very difficult to uh, get the permission to do that. So um, I was allowed to present our our data and our um, guidelines, how we do it, and I hope that the audience um, is motivated to establish other milk banks in, in, in um, Germany. I think the audience was very motivated to investigate it more. Your research findings are really extremely appealing. Uh, obviously all the obstacles need to be mm -hmm. managed wherever you, you're doing it. What do you see as the implications of, of what you found? I think the main implication is on the, the take-home message it, is that it, it is feasible mm. to use raw milk, even in Germany, even with the regulations and the uh, SOPs you have to follow. So it's worth it and now we need a couple of data that it's really better to mm -hmm. use raw milk versus pasteurized milk. And we don't have these studies yet where you can compare these two lines of treatment. And I hope that uh, we will be able to um, produce these data in the, um, in the following years, uh -huh. especially with regard to the human, um, to the microbiome in the, uh, uh, in the gut of the preterm baby. So you've already alluded to or touched on my next question. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what do we hope to see from you in, in the coming yeah, years? Yeah, Is data yes. ongoing or is this yes. something you're we, looking to? Some data we have, we've got some data ongoing, but um, we we hope that we will um, do a couple of studies in the uh, in the next two to three years. At the moment, we are collecting the data, but we've got a wonderful cohort there in Munich because it's unique mm -hmm. with these um, raw human milk and with um, very strict guidelines of human nutrition or preterm nutrition. So maybe. I and can come back with new data uh, and sure present we will them. I'm welcome you warmly. <laughs> One last question. Lots of people jump on you to ask, how, how can we do it? Milk banks are the, are the hottest topic in the world, it seems. Mm -hmm. One of the very hot topics. Mm -hmm. What advice can you offer to people who are thinking about it or, or discussing it, ministries or, or healthcare professionals? Just start. Just, Just do it. Mm -hmm. Just go there and ask what you have to do, what are the regulations. And I'm open for every question, any question. I can help wherever I, um, I'm asked. <laughs> so um, just do it. And that's um, what we did in Munich. Okay, I'm sure people watching this, yes, if uh, you're going to be inundated with a few yeah. questions. <laughs> yes, now, so, well, I think so. Thank you so much for your time. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you.